In this tutorial, we're going to take a brief look at five of the many tools that can be used for read alignment and some of the things that they can do. Read alignment is the second step in analyzing sequencing read, and its purpose is that it enables researchers to interpret information obtained from sequencing data. It also allows users to browse mapped experimental data with different types of annotations and also comparison of multiple organisms or individuals. The first alignment tool we're going to look at is Bowtie. Bowtie is a useful tool because it aligns reads at a fast rate. Bowtie is also convenient because it won't take up much memory space and once again it's pretty fast. So it's good for aligning large genome sequences such as the human genome and mouse genome, or if you urgently need to find answers to a questions. There are two versions of Bowtie, the regular Bowtie and Bowtie 2. The difference is that Bowtie can only handle a limited number of accessions and deletions, whereas Bowtie 2 can handle any number of accessions and deletions and long reads also. Mr. Fast is a tool that's great for aligning short reads with the reference genome. Mr. Fast is a helpful tool in that it generates an index of the reference genome. It also maps the read to a reference genome and maps single reads and paired end reads to a reference genome. The next tool we're going to look at is Novo Align. What, what Novo Align does is that it aligns single end, paired end, and mate pairs. It also checks for base quality and improves sensitivity and specificity of areas of interest. SOAP stands for Short Oligonucleotide Alignment Program. What SOAP does is that it aligns gapped and ungapped alignments onto reference sequences. There are multiple variations of SOAP, such as SOAP de novo and SOAP indel. BFAST is one of the fast and accurate search tools researchers use for alignment, just like Bowtie. BFAST facilitates the fast and accurate mapping of short reads to reference genome sequences. It also enables billions of short reads to be mapped quickly, and it's an easy way to measure tune accuracy, although you may lose some speed while doing that. Please be sure to check out our next videos on next generation sequencing. Next is variant identification. Thanks for watching.